This Christmas, St Edmund's Church in Chingford is asking our community to share pictures of things that have given them hope through this difficult year. We asked some of our congregation to tell us what they found hard about this year. But I've put some makeup on today in honour of the church. <laughs> what have you found hardest about this year? Well, I suppose really, like everybody else, being indoors all the time. I miss the banter of my colleagues. Not being able to see the people that I care about, that I love, and give them a hug. Well, for me, it's still travelling on the underground, because I still will get to work. Still get home. I mean, obviously, I'll go over to my assistant because she's very disabled, and um, I go once a week over there, but I have to get a cab there and back because I can't get on the bus, and obviously, I'll be wearing a mask and everything. Um, work's busy, not as busy as it was last year, but um, it has been stressful trying to get on the underground with a packed train. And generally not being around people and getting lost in a crowd. I never thought I'd miss that. And missing um, sort of the... basically just looking over the desk and the silly talk at work. We've all had to get used to wearing masks. That's one thing about masks, you know, for girls. <laughs> when you wear lipstick you can't really because it goes all up your ear. It's not all been doom and gloom though, so have there been any good points about 2020? That people have got to know each other more, who have been at home together as a group where they're usually all rushing about and out at work or at school and what have you. So it's been a very big opportunity to, for people to forget the materialistic so much of life and dwell upon the human factor. Well, I've enjoyed working from home. Um, because I haven't got to get on public transport, I haven't got to get on the bus, I haven't got to wait for the bus, and getting home is walking three minutes up and down the stairs. So that has been really good. I think that in some ways people have discovered themselves again, and also maybe discovered new talents. Some people in this lockdown have been able to go and help other people and do things they never imagined they'd be able to do. Even Christmas, it seems, won't be the same this year. This Christmas is going to be different to any other Christmas. It will hopefully still be a time of great joy, but I'm sure there will also be some sadness with remembrance of those that we've lost. But as Christians, we also remember that this is a time of joy and celebration, a time when we remember that God is with us and that the light never goes out. God is the light in the darkness. What's given you hope when it's been difficult to see the way ahead this year? Yeah, I'm hoping that vaccination will work and that the trials will be success and then we can go back to some normality. When people were phoning me up or, you know, having conversations, that was a great compensation. The vaccine will be worldwide, not just UK-wide, but worldwide, and it can be given to the whole of the population of, of the world and we can move on. Walking the dog and being in nature. The nursing profession have had a really hard job and they do really well. And I think obviously we should honour them always now. And planting bulbs gives us hope because there's a feeling that there's something to look forward to, that spring will come again, even if winter is really hard. While I'm working, I watch um, nature to it, getting on with its business out in the garden. And I suppose what that tells you is no matter how bad times are, no matter how many restrictions are put onto you in these difficult times, life goes on. I also got a holding cross which I used, and that I found very helpful to carry about or have with me. I even take it to bed with me. 
so I, I really have found comfort in that that practical thing to have as well to hold. And my faith is the greatest thing though, and that's what sustained me basically through this. And I hope will continue to sustain me. Claire? So now it's over to you. Why not share a picture or even a short video? Or maybe just some words of something that's given you hope this year? You can add your submission to the growing collection on our website, stedmond.org.uk. Thanks for watching. At St Edmunds, our prayers are with you this Christmas and for a hopeful 2021.